took everything I had He tore it all apart But baby, don't you touch my scarred guitar What's going on guys, my name's Sean You landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar Alright, we got Dan's guitar out of the way I've sent it to him, he's already received it He's gonna be opening it on his channel in a live video you better sub his channel. You don't want to miss it. Now, today, we're going to make a new acoustic. And I'm pretty sure there's some of y'all going, Oh, man, not another acoustic. <laughs> Bear with me for a minute, all right? Listen, we're going to use some red elm and some purple heartwood on the face of the guitar. We're going to surround it in walnut. We're going to give it a crazy core. And I could stand here and talk about it all day. But that's enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. For the neck, like I said, we got this red elm blank already made on the CNC. But the fretboard's bird's eye maple. Look at that guy. We got the purple heart inlays. It's not glued on. We don't have the truss rod cavity cut yet. But for the body, man, look, I went kind of crazy. Got these two walnut pieces glued together. Since he loves purple heartwood, got a strip down the middle. The front and back is going to be that walnut and purple heartwood. But the core will be ambrosia maple. Let's see if that affects the sound any. That's enough talking about it. Let's get it thrown up on the CNC. Hang on just a dang minute. The CNC is a little lopsided, but I ordered the upgrade to fix that. So we're going to check that out before we make the body. Now, I don't know when it was that I actually bought the CNC. It was right after I made Scott Overman's guitar. That orange telly with the molten flame top on it. But the thing with the CNC is it's gotten really unlevel over the last year or so. And this gantry is dipping a little. These things are dipping a little. It's just getting wore out, you know what I mean? But like I said, we got that upgrade kit coming. So we'll see how that works out. Well, let's get to it. That ex guy just came. <laughs> the thing that I really wanted was the spindle mount for the routers that I use. This will fit the smaller router. I've been having to duct tape around them and stuff. It's been crazy. There's all the little bolts for it. This is probably going to be the heavy duty gantry. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. <laughs> but that's what they should have put on this to begin with and it's, it's really messed up they make you pay for this knowing the machine screwed up you know what I'm saying knowing that it gets the way that it does this should come free with all the old ones people have purchased but I'm pretty sure this is going to make a swell difference on the machine I can't wait to see it's got direct drive see that no more belts and the new 9mm belts Got X, Y, and Z motors in them. All new wheels. All new clamps, tensioners. This is going to be dope. I'll probably save the upgrade for another video. Boom. Uncle Jesse's been upgraded. <laughs> in case you didn't know, CNC's name's Uncle Jesse. Now, these little corner pieces were upgraded, giving it about an inch in clearance and height. Then it got these cool, what they're calling tensioners on the rails. So yeah, no more saggy there. And the new nine millimeter belts with the new larger motors. I can just tell already this thing's gonna be rocking. But the star of the show is this gantry, man. Look at that. It's on rails now instead of those little cheap wheels. Those are rails with bearings in them. It just feels more sturdy, like just really more sturdy. But uh, let's stop talking about it. Let's get to working with it. Halfway through the car and the router burnt up. This thing started smoking and making all kind of noise. So now I gotta replace that. Pray to God I can get the center back here. Starting point back. Then I gotta run it all the way around the whole cut just to catch it up. Because I had to hit the emergency stop button. Because that thing was literally shooting fire out of the top of it. Didn't have the camera on me or my phone. But it is what it is. That guy's ugly. All right, let's swap it out. Now, I've told you guys about these cheap routers before. 
think they're like 70 bucks on Amazon. But I'm going to tell you right now, I get about 400 hours out of this. And then it comes with an extra set of brushes over here. See them? Get an extra set of brushes. <laughs> I mean, they last forever. You know what I'm saying? Compared to an expensive router like DeWalt 611 that I got from Inventables. No lie, guys. 50 hours the thing was burnt up. But let's get this on the machine. Now, some guys would take this whole thing apart and then put it in there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to feed the wire in and take the other one out piece at a time. That way I don't have to deal with all the wires coming out and getting all over the place. guy in there. That makes it easier to get to that. Don't it? the new router on here I don't need to turn it on right now because I need to catch it up to where it left off at I already got it running but I want you guys to hear the little song it sings with the bands listen this is what it sounds like without the router going all that real noise you hear is coming from these I put my hands on them quietens it down some <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's let it run. We'll turn it on when it gets down there. My boy looking like the dude from Reno 911. Check him out. looking killer ain't it it's pretty nice huh? huh just wondering how it's gonna sound it's got that maple core it's looking pretty good though but let's get that glue together I'll spare you the clamping this guy's clamped up and I gotta tell you I like it now we're not gonna burn the logo in there we're gonna do something different for this because the laser machine's not working right but let's get on that neck now, I don't do fret work in these videos. I've said it before. But we did a live video and installed these frets. And I don't know if you were there, but if you were, horns out. That's what's up. Man, look at that fretboard. So we got to shape the back of the neck and shape the headstock. Let's make it happen.
Man, that came out good, didn't it? Look at that. I like this red elm. Kind of looks like oak, but it's not. I promise you that's not. Wow, look at that bird's eye. <laughs> now, what we got to do now is a little more hand sanding. I'll spare you that. But just a little bit. You see, I got it pretty good with the drill. And then we can get it on the guitar. Let's do it. Now, I don't know what you're thinking about this, but man, it looks good to me. Just needs a little smoothing. You know what I mean? Smooth him on out some. But listen. Ooh. Yeah, that guy's got the tone coming out of him. We'll see here in just a minute. Alright, it's officially the gandering stage. <laughs> Too bad that's in the way. You can't really see, huh? But it's just beautiful. Look at this thing. Yeah, we're going to do that zero fret. Put a bone nut there. Man. Justin. Justin, Justin, Justin. All right, let's stop right here for a second. Because if you follow the channel, you know that I made a post about getting a guitar kit from Guitar Kit World. Well, it's here in my hands right now. This is not an illusion. If you join me in a live video, you're going to get to see me unbox this guy. Of course, I'm going to build it in another video, but if you join the live video, you'll figure out how to win this guy. Guitar Kit World's also giving me a code off $20 any one of their kits. I'll talk to you a little more about that later. Let's get back to the regular program. <laughs> Good, don't it? Your name was Justin, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think the maple core, I don't know if it affects the sound or not, but this one sounds pretty good. I think so, anyway. gotta tell you man I just love this one look at that thing look at that fretboard and just look at the figuring on that walnut there crazy huh <laughs> Alright guys, as always, you know I appreciate you watching, but until next time, 
Don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.